Oh, you hillbilly. Flameouts. We all hate them. It can happen to the best, but it happens more to beginners. And sometimes it actually happens so much that new people just give up on the hobby. But what if I told you that it doesn't have to be this way? The engines we run are actually quite simple. You just need to know how to install them correctly. And you need to understand the basics of a carburetor and what the different needles do. Then you can follow a step-by-step -step process to tune it correctly. But sometimes there are problems and then you can look for leaks. Do you know what a bad front bearing sounds like? What about a rear bearing? When do you change those? And then we have driving. The things racers do these days is just ridiculous. I mean, look at this. And why do drivers always whip like that? What's the idea? What's the point? And this, well, this is just amazing. I mean, are these guys superhuman? No, they're not. Well, actually, maybe some of them are. My point is that close, exciting racing with your friends, it's something you can learn to do also. It's not only something reserved for the best in the world and the super talented. Yes, talented people always have an easier way to achieve greatness because they don't need to think as much. They just practice and get good. But for most of us, it doesn't work that way. We need to understand the theory behind what's happening to our car and how we need to drive it and how we need to set it up. We need to think about what we're doing. We need to practice with a purpose. We need to learn about racing lines and while following them, we need to focus on our steering, throttle and brake inputs. We need to go through all the adjustments on the car so we know what they do. You need to learn about these things so that you don't need to look at the top pros setup sheets and copy them because unless you can do this or maybe this then how are their setup sheets going to help you? You need to learn how to read the car so that you can make the right adjustments that fit both your skill level and driving style. When your car is handling exactly how you want it to you will enjoy your racing a lot more. And all these things that I just mentioned, they're all covered in the new RC Car Racing online course that I'm releasing next month. It's going to be amazing, believe me.